so I got a new camera for when I do kind of talking to you guys. Uh, much more wide angle. It's by AUSDOM. Got it from Amazon 1080 wide angle, which is really nice. But I just want to give you guys a heads up, uh, an update on spray painting the uh, the rubberized one I didn't like on the um, Atmo Blue mask. <coughs> so pretty much the model came on a uh, plastic piece which holds the pieces. Um, I actually used this to hold the mask part and then since I ordered two masks I used the other piece to hold the filter pieces um, which worked out really great by the way so keep these these are really good in case you plan to do any painting on it um, I decided to change it to the color of my car um, now remember I'm not great at spray painting or anything like that uh, on anything other than a car so I just used what I knew about doing a car um, to do this uh, I had a couple of issues when it comes to trying to get it to be smooth but here it goes um, so if you notice there's actually a little bit of a uh, well you can't really see it but it's blue it's dark blue with a um, coating on it or a, kind of like a glitter coating to make it sparkly um, for the most part it came out pretty decent I'm still going to kind of touch up on this one I, I know I can't make it as smooth as I wanted it to be uh, but now I have a blue one uh, which is really really nice because that's not one of the color selections which is on there I'm just going to do a little bit more sanding down on these parts and everything um, these though very hard to do so if you are going to do them um, I would say make sure you do a lot of research first because those holes are really annoying you have to kind of keep making sure that they do not get closed off or anything um, when you do it. Um, I wanted to go for more of a glossy kind of print on this, uh, but of course, you know, uh, it didn't turn out too, too, too well. Uh, I don't know how to get this thing to focus, so there's that. Um, but on the inside, there you go, there you go. So on the inside we have no spray paint, which is really nice. Um, didn't really clog up anything in there, which is good. It has that spray paint smell, so if, once you kind of spray paint it and coat it, make sure you do not put it on your mask directly. Um, that will probably get into your mask uh, also. So that's my quick update. Um, I haven't put it on the mask yet because again, it still smells like car paint. So. Um, but make sure when you do kind of sand it down, try not to take too much away from the plastic. Um, and the reason for that is because you, this is already really thin. And like I, it was really hard trying to sand this down because it's so thin uh, in order to make it even. So uh, if you sand it down too thin, it will kind of damage the um, integrity um, of that. So. Uh, but have a great day. Um, I'm going to give you guys kind of a small update sometime in the future and also a new product review on a backpack um, for the cats, um, that which also has a air intake. And the air intake I'm going to be kind of, I, I mean, I got the backpack because I knew I wanted to get one for the cats eventually. Um, but this one actually has a light and has air intakes on it. And I'm going to probably take that uh, broken or damaged uh, ammo blue mask and actually install it somehow on there and the inside I think might be the air intake is kind of square so I think I'm going to try and see if I can get one of those uh, filters inside of there also um, I think the width is correct but I'm not sure if the height is so um, but see you guys soon on the next video and again like and subscribe thanks